this one kind of goes with my culture. This fashionista turned businesswoman is Carrie Ann Thompson, but those in the know call her Namanas. So Namanas means no manners in Jamaica. She says it's not about being rude, but it's about being authentic. She feels that authenticity is something lacking in corporate messaging. Sometimes it feels more opportunistic. For example, Bloomberg reported that in 2020, within weeks of the murder of George Floyd, 70% of the top global brands put out a statement on racial justice. Are they just using it to gain the money from black people? 60 years ago, if black people were included in advertising at all, it was usually reinforcing negative stereotypes. Major corporations began making changes in the 1970s. Thinking they could make more money, they changed their ads. Corporations began including black people as models and actors in ads. But in the boardrooms where the decisions were made, not so much. Corporations have come a long way from ads with slogans like slack power to market to black consumers. But have today's companies got it right? Christian Moyo is not so sure, and he knows big name branding. He is the managing partner of Rosewood Innovation, a global management consulting firm. He uses the NFL as an example, with 32 teams, 70% black players, and only two black head coaches. You feel like this group of people is good enough to put their bodies on the line, but not to lead company or not to lead an enterprise. If your marketing communicates one thing and your executive leadership team communicates something else, consumers are going to be um, aware of that. Moyo says that caring means black people are represented at all levels of a corporation. And if you want to see if their messaging is really authentic, a basic Google search to see what their executive team looks like is the best place to start. Keisha Paul, CBC News, Winnipeg.